Hi guys, today I will be doing something which I feel excited about. So I will be doing on molecular dynamic simulations uh, my videos and today I will be calculating the equilibrium lattice parameter uh, using uh, molecular dynamic simulations. So let me open my script file. So this is my script file. So I in initialize my system by, men, uh, by telling the system what are the units so the units that I'll be using are metal and the dimension I'll be calculating is for a three dimensional uh, alloy or metal and the, my boundary conditions are periodic and the atomic style is atomic and then later I create the atoms using the lattice command <coughs> lattice FCC 3.52 Armstrong's are the guess values of the pure nickel element so I, I am putting this value and checking whether this value is right or wrong and later I will be creating the atoms using the create atoms command Rep I, and then I replicate it along the x y z directions like 20 lattices along each direction later uh, I define the interatomic potential so uh, the potential file is the EAM type file so EAM is embedded atom method and then I'll I I'll be, I'm using this interatomic potential nickel aluminum hydrogen alloy and my interactions is only between nickel and nickel so this is a pairwise interaction I am doing and this neighbor and neighbor modifier is used to check the neighbor uh, common neighbors or the nearest neighbors at each and every time to see if the atoms are coming near or, near or further away and later I use this command called compute to compute the temperature at which I am uh, calculating my uh, lattice parameter so while minimizing or while equilibrating the system this command helps me to calculate the temperature in each and every step and shows the value so here I am running minimization or equilibrate doing equilibration or relaxing the lattice so this fix one box relax is used so that uh, when I relax the system the box size may change because the atoms move to get into the equilibrium position so this command mentions that uh, two parameters one is iso which is about the pressure so it's an isotropic pressure and I am giving the pressure to be 0.0, .0 because I am not applying any pressure on the system I am just simply relaxing it in normal pressure conditions and then this Vmax gives uh, the maximum volume it's allowed to change so uh, what I will do is I won't give such high precision but I will reduce my precision to something which we can relate to like 0 0.001 of the box size I'm allowing it to change and then this thermo is like it outputs the uh, uh, thermodynamic properties I am calculating at each, each 10 steps and this thermo style will actually uh, print out on the screen these values like the step the box size along x the box size along y along z and the c new is nothing but the temperature the new temperature I am calculating at each step and now as I said in the starting of the video I am using a minimization minimization technique conjugate gradient method so here I am doing the minimization and then I am outputting the lattice constant mm. using the variable command and then printing the uh, length so let's run the program and see what's the output so I will be using mpiRun to do parallelization and then um, I'll be inputting this script and then let's run it so uh, it gave the answer very quick <clears throat> so the step started with 0 and then it relaxed after 4 steps of minimization so this is the value at which it stopped the minimization and so we can see that the lattice constant along the x y z direction are the same and the value is this thank you very much for watching my video please subscribe to our channel